I was just arranging this other side. I'm I'm almost done with the food stuff, so I'm on the side of the toiletries. And I, it just crossed my mind. Why am I buying so many diapers? Like, I think I'm so ready for Taraji to train and start sleeping through the night without using a diaper. I think these are officially going to be the last, <laughs> the last diapers I'm going to buy. I am done. The last diapers I'm going to buy in my life because I'm not having another baby. <laughs> Watch this is a baby boy. Love after two years, do I Guys, <laughs> I just want to be happy. happy to yet another vlog if you are already a subscriber karibu sana welcome back and uh, if you are new to this channel welcome to our channel and also please don't forget to subscribe okay so in today's video i want to talk about how i organize my pantry and my fridge as all of you know i am big on bulk shopping and uh, i've been getting a lot of questions on my instagram on how i go about it there's a video i did initially on how to budget for a big family so i'm not going to start from the beginning if you want to go, to know how I do it from the beginning, that is the shopping where I get my meat, where I get my chicken, where I get my grocery shopping, and also where I do my wholesale shopping, kindly uh, find that video on the list of my videos and watch it. It's how I budget for my big family. For today, I'm going to just take you through what happens after the shopping gets to the house. So, as all of you know, sometimes when you bulk shopping, uh, it can be misused if you're not able to manage it well. So today I'm just going to take you through the steps that I take to make sure that this shopping actually lasts for the time that it is meant to last. At least get close to the time it is supposed to to last. Also, the same thing applies to the grocery shopping because I do grocery shopping for a whole month uh, i'm also going to share with you that information on the steps and the tricks i use to make sure that this shopping actually lasts a whole month and also what i do to avoid wastage what i what i do to avoid misuse of items and shopping around the house so um stay tuned to this channel if this is something that you'll be interested in kindly stay here um Let's go through the, the, the shopping that I did yesterday and also let me take you through how I organize and all those things that I mentioned earlier, okay? So this is my current situation. Everything I bought from the market is right here on the floor. These are avocados, capsicums, onions, cabbage, potatoes, butternuts, some oranges, some onions. Uh, the vegetables are already um, are out there, as you can see. My nanny is um, is uh, pre-cooking them so that we're able to pack them in the fridge. This is from the wholesale shopping that I did. Um, as you can see, uh, this is um, tomato paste, Weetabix, some saucy. This one, this one really comes in handy, especially over lunch hour when the kids are not in school. This is uh, rice. This is powder soap. This is... Uh, what are these called? These are spaghettis. These are noodles. Noodles also come in handy, especially for the little ones, for when I don't want to have a very heavy, heavy meal over lunch. This is cooking oil, and they're in 20 liters. Um, this is the Jig Topex. Topex. It's a bleach. And these are tissues. And these are bar soaps. And as you can see, those are two cartons. They might seem much, but with proper organization, these things will be able to last us a really, really long time. And uh, this is cocoa. The reason why I buy this cocoa this way, number one is to avoid wastage. Number two is because I have containers right there where I pour this in so that we're able to use it. And uh, these are pads. The house is full of girls. A female-dominated household. So... <clears throat> Here we have uh, soy sauce for our, our stews. We have vinegar. 
we have tomato paste tomato sauce sorry because of kids again um this i buy in this is a dozen i think and this this uh, this is blue burn this is peanut this is um toothpaste so what happens is that i'm going to allocate each bathroom or each person will take one and it's supposed to last them about two weeks or even a month if it's it's well taken care of if it's well used and also there's blue band here the reason why i buy these small blue bands number one is to avoid wasting number two is so that at least this can take us up to a certain period so if this, if this is supposed to last us for two weeks or for one month then you know that this is for one month this is for two months this is for three months and so on and so forth so i avoid buying very very big uh, pieces of items uh when it comes to things like cocoa things like blue band so that i'm able to account for them so let me let me show you uh how i organize all these things in the pantry and also when i do that i'm going to take out what i need for a month and that means that uh, the nanny is not allowed to go back to the store to get anything until the duration that the ones that are, are allocated already are supposed to last. So this is this store basically acts like our mini supermarket. So we don't have to go to the supermarket all the time when we don't have things to use. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks right now. That's how it looks. It's quite messy. I'm going to organize that. And I'm going to leave in there what we do not need for this month. And I'm going to put up there only what we need for this month. Over here I have my meat, my chicken. There are some tomatoes here and more beef. These are all going to be pre-cooked. I also forgot to mention that uh, I have this miko as a backup for when the big uh, the big gas is over. So I use that as backup. So they're both filled. Um, and when, when the big one is over, we use this one. I can show you what love is supposed to feel like. I can show you what love is supposed to be. When you organize in the pantry and you have the you have children in the house or your kids are young um all the items that you feel that um they might reach and uh, spoil kindly put them on the upper shelves or any items that you feel that they might eat ingest and cause them um cause an accident kindly ensure that you put them on top uh, on the upper shelves where the kids are not able to reach them other side I'm, I'm almost done with the food stuff so I'm on the side of the toiletries and I it just crossed my mind why am I buying so many diapers like I think I'm so ready for Taraji to train and start sleeping through the night without using a diaper I think these are officially going to be the last <laughs> the last diapers I'm going to buy I am done the last diapers I'm going to buy in my life because I'm not having another baby <laughs> What are these people all for after two years? Do I mean, guys? <laughs> so there's something I wanted to show you. This is Topex bleach. It's for washing white clothes or surfaces and things like that. In this box, there are such small boxes. So the the reason why I love it so much is because you are able to tell how many of these you, you are using in a week. 
how many of these you are using in a month how many of you of these you're using in a day okay so this really helps so as i buy this i already know like how much i need for the time that i mentioned and so this is one of the reasons why it's so easy you see when you buy the big one it's hard to tell the duration of time that is gonna is going to be used but for this you know that this is only used once like you pour it in the water once or twice and that's it so perfect for accountability so as you've seen i've already finished um, organizing my pantry and it looks quite more presentable than it looked before when we started organizing it uh so tip number one like i told you i was going to share with you the tricks that i use to make sure that this food is not wasted uh the first trick is this what i'm going to show you right now as you can see here there are containers and there's also spaces up there which i'm going to use to store the things that the nanny needs for this month and like i told you before um the menu is everything in in this all these arrangements like the menu is the one that should guide you to know exactly what portions you're supposed to pack in this container and that also applies to what you pack in the fridge so for example uh what can i use say for example rice go to the go to your menu look at how many times you have rice in a in a month also how many cups you use so for example uh, if you're having rice twice a month and maybe you use two cups per meal or let's say one cup per meal so that means that you have two cups of rice per week that means you'll have uh, eight cups of rice per month so what happens is at the store you pick eight cups of rice you come and pour them here so this is what is going to be used for that particular month if it is flour the same applies to to that how many packets of flour you use for a month if you use two if you use three that's what you pour inside these containers and then you put them up there where the nanny is able to reach them and this now will guide you to know what quantities you're also using in a given in a given month so when it comes to organizing the fridge i think the question that a lot of people were asking is how i managed to organize and um, you know re re regulate the food that i bought because it looks quite a lot like i said first of all you need a menu to guide you on how to even pack your food in the fridge so i'll give you an example as you can see this is one portion of beans this is for my family this is like one one meal this is a portion enough for one meal uh, and what I do is that I look at the menu and see how many times do we have um, How many times do we have beans and that is what is going to guide me on how many packets of this or how many portions of this I will need to pack for this month. So if we have beans once a week That means I need at least four of these portions uh, To last us a whole month. So this really helps especially when it comes to wastage of food and also uh, just organizing yourself in a way that this food can last you at least for a certain period. I can show you what love is supposed to feel like. I can show you what love is supposed to be. I can show you what love is supposed to feel like.